Hello and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we will be doing a cook with me and I will be making smothered queso chicken. This has been a long time family favorite, but honestly, I haven't made it since I started WW, which was February 13th of last year. Um, the first time I ever pointed it out, it was crazy high. It was like 15 points. So I kind of put it on the back burner. And just the other day I stumbled across it again. So I decided to mess with it a little bit and see if I could bring the points down. And I am thrilled to say that I was able to bring the points down to eight points per serving. And that includes um, pretty much everything in the dinner because it's, it's an orzo base with the chicken and the queso on top. And then I just throw in a zero point veg. So worked out for me. Hopefully it'll taste just as good as the original version because you know me, I don't try anything first. It's real life here. Um, real life, I didn't even put makeup on. I'm sorry, not camera ready, but like I said before, real life, and it was a day and a half in my life today. So I am tired. It is 10 of 5, and everybody will be home in about a half an hour. So I need to get my act together, and we need to get this dinner going. So let me show you what to do. What going to need for our recipe is a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll be cooking the orzo in that. Um, two cups of chicken broth, two tablespoons of tomato paste, eight ounces of orzo, a can of uh, Rotel, the diced tomatoes with green chilies, queso, my favorite, favorite queso cheese is the queso from Aldi. It is one point for two tablespoons and it is delicious, I love it. We're gonna need some chili powder or Southwest seasoning. I don't have Southwest seasoning, so I we're gonna use chili powder. And then last night, I started marinating the chicken. Um, one bottle of the Lowry's Baja Chipotle seasoning. And I have our chicken breasts marinating in there. I did them overnight just to give it more flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get outside and get these chicken breasts cooking on the barbecue grill. And then I will come in and assemble the rest of the dish and show you what we're gonna do. Not gonna bother taking you outside because y'all know how to grill chicken. So I will be right back and show you what to do. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is heat the skillet over medium high heat. And we're going to add our tablespoon of olive oil and let that heat up. As soon as it starts shimmering, you know that it's hot and ready to go. So to that, we're going to add our orzo. You can hear it sizzling. And we're just gonna stir that constantly in the hot oil until it begins to toast a little bit, till it becomes like a light brown. You just have to watch it because it can turn really, really quickly. It doesn't usually take more than two or three minutes if your pan is nice and hot. Okay, once that begins to toast up just a little bit, we are going to add in our Southwest seasoning or our chili powder. It calls for two teaspoons. I'm a little bit of a spice wimp, so I'm gonna go about a teaspoon and a half on that. Give that a mix. And then we're gonna add in our tomato paste, two tablespoons of that, our chicken broth, two cups of that. Woo, hear that sizzle. And then I'm gonna add in about half of a can of Rotel, maybe a little more than half. And I'm going to give this a good stir to break down the tomato paste. And then we just need to bring this to a boil. So I'm going to turn the heat up to high until it starts to boil. And then we will turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the orzo is cooked and most of the liquid is absorbed. So we will just leave that there. I'm sorry, we're gonna cover it. 
um, once it comes to a boil, we're going to cover it and then let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. So I will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, we've got a nice boil going on the orzo and the liquids. So I'm just going to give it a final stir. Put the lid on it. Reduce the heat down to low. And let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm going to start occasionally and check it, make sure it's not sticking and make sure it's looking good. I'm going to go out and tend to the chicken and when this is done, I will be back. Okay, the orzo's done. It took about 20 minutes and I did have to add a little bit more chicken broth to it. Um, it dried out quicker than it cooked because orzo does take a while to cook. So that is all done, looking good. The chicken is done and now I will get everything plated up and show you what it looks like. So there is dinner all plated up. You kind of can't see my chicken under there because it is called smothered queso chicken. Um, what I did, I measured out the orzo and then divided it by four and, you know, weighed out my portion so I knew it was exactly right. My piece of chicken and then two tablespoons, which was 31 grams of the orzo. I mean, I'm sorry, of the queso. I just heated that up, poured it over top, and then garnished with a little bit of the leftover rotel and just serving some broccoli and cauliflower steamed on the side. And there you have the eight-point dinner of smothered queso chicken. I will be back to let you know what the family thought of it. Well, dinner is done. I'm just sitting here at the computer uploading the recipe to my website. And let me tell you, it was better than I even remember. It was so delicious. Um, my husband and my son went crazy over it. My son who's away at college is not happy that he missed it. So I promised him I would make it again when he gets home in two weeks. Um, it was fantastic. Now it does have a little bit of a kick. So if you're, I'm a spice wimp, but I could handle it easily. And I am a spice wimp, um, but it does have a little kick. I think the kick may have been from the queso. I was trying to figure that out. It definitely wasn't the marinade because I tasted a piece of chicken without anything on it, but the marinade, sorry, allergies. Um, so it definitely wasn't that so it may have been the queso, it may have been the orzo, I think it was the queso, which it's mild queso or medium queso, I'm not sure, but it was fantastic and so filling. I am stuffed, absolutely delicious. So give this a try, let me know if you're gonna try it. Um, and that's it, don't forget, click the subscription button, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know if this is something you think you'll try. That's it for me. I am out of here and I will see you all tomorrow for a what I eat in a day. Good night.